Hi friends, you are welcome back. In today's question, we are asked to calculate the area of the two congruent cycles that is this and this. We have the length of this line segment to be 18 and that of this is 62 units. The length of this side is x, this side also is x, that of this and this are also x. So how can we solve this? How can we calculate the area of these cycles? Well, it is very simple. The formula for calculating the area of a cycle is by r squared. Since the two cycles are identical, they'll have equal areas. Therefore, area equal to 2 pi r squared. We need the value of r. Okay. Come here, draw the radius of this cycle to this point of contact and that of this to this point of contact. We see this line is a tangent to this cycle at this point and here this is also a tangent at this point. From the cycle theory, there is a rule that the tangent of a cycle is perpendicular to its radius through point of contact that is here. This tangent is perpendicular to this radius at this point, hence it is a right angle. And he, this tangent also perpendicular to this radius, therefore this angle is a right angle. Now come here, draw a line that connects this point and this, assume its length to be y. Now look at this triangle, it is a right angle triangle. We have the length of this side to be r, that of this side is y, and this is 62 units. We can use the Pythagorean theorem to relate them. The Pythagorean theorem states that the square of the length of the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the length of the two other sides. The hypotenuse is a side facing the right angle, which is this here. So if you apply the Pythagorean theorem on it, y squared equal to r squared plus 62 squared. 62 squared is 3844. So y squared equal to r squared plus 3844. Look at these two cycles. They both touch at this point. From the cycle theory once again, there is a rule that if two cycles touch at a point, their point of contact lies on the straight line that connects their centers. So here, since this is the center of this cycle and this is that of this cycle, based on this rule, this point of contact lies on the straight line that connects them. It is obvious that this segment is a radius r and this is also a radius. Now come here, draw a radius to this point of contact. And here also, throw another to this point of contact. Obviously, this line is a tangent to the two circles at this point and this point. Recall, we mentioned earlier that the tangent of the cycle is perpendicular to its radius through point of contact. So this tangent will be perpendicular to this radius at this point and to this radius at this point. Let's look at this quadrilateral. This side and this side are congruent and they both are perpendicular to this side. The only two types of quadrilateral that have two congruent sides perpendicular to a third side are the square and the rectangle. But for it to be a square, this side must be congruent with this side and that is not the case here. Therefore, it is a rectangle. We also know that opposite sides of a rectangle are equal, that is this side and this. So since this side has its length to be the sum of this r and this, this must also be r plus r, which is 2r. Another property of a rectangle we should consider is that all its angles are right angles, that is this angle and this must also be right angles. Come back here, we see this tangent and this meet at this point. 
So we can say they were drawn to the circle from it, which is an external point. Now once again, from the circle theory, there is another rule that when two tangents are drawn to a circle from the same external point, their segments are equal. That is here, this segment and this are congruent. So since this has its length to be 18 units, this must also be 18 units in length. Let's take a look at this quadrilateral. The fact that all its sides have the same length x makes it a square-shaped quadrilateral. One of the properties of a square is that all its angles are right angles. That is, this angle, this, this and this are right angles. Come down to this side, we see it is also a tangent at this point. So based on the earlier mentioned rule, if we draw the radius of the circle from the point of contact, the angle formed will be a right angle. We look at this quadrilateral, three of its angles are right angles. Definitely, this angle will also be a right angle and that make it either a square or a rectangle. In both a square and a rectangle, opposite sides are congruent. That is, this side and this are congruent and this and this are also equal. So since this is R, this must also be R. And since this is also R, this must be R. Look at this side of the square. Its length is x and it is divided into three segments which have their lengths to be 18, 2r and r. So x equal to 18 plus 2r plus r. 2r plus r is 3r. So x equal to 18 plus 3r. Come to this line segment. Since its length is x and it is divided into two segments one of which is r, the other must be x minus r. x, its value is here 18 plus 3r. We replace this with 18 plus 3r. 3r minus r is 2r. So it is 18 plus 2r. We see here, since this line is perpendicular to this, and this is also perpendicular to this, they are parallel. So if we draw another parallel to this, from this point to this, we'll have a rectangle. One of the properties of a rectangle is that opposite sides are congruent. So since this is 18 plus 2r, this must also be 18 plus 2r. And since this is r, this must also be r. Now this side is also divided into two segments. That is this and this. So since this has a length to be r, this must be x minus r. x is 18 plus 3r. 3r minus r is 2r. So it is 18 plus 3r. Definitely, this is a right because it is an angle of this rectangle. Now look at this triangle. It is a right angle triangle. We use the Pythagorean theorem on it. Since this is the hypotenuse. The square of its length must be equal to the sum of the squares of this and this. So y squared equal to 18 plus 2r all squared plus 18 plus 2r all squared. 18 plus 2r all squared plus 18 plus 2r all squared can be written as 2 times 18 plus 2r all squared. This y squared, recall, we have its value here to be r squared plus 3844. Substitute it here. So r squared plus 3844 equal to 2 times 18 plus 2r all squared. 18 plus 2r all squared is 18 plus 2r times 18 plus 2r, which is 18 times 18 plus 2r plus 2r times 18 plus 2r. 18 times 18 plus 2r is 324 plus 36r. And plus 2r times 18 plus 2r is 36r plus 4r squared. 36r plus 36r is 72r. 2 times 324 plus 72r plus 4r squared is 648 plus 144r 
plus 8 r squared print this r squared and plus 3844 to the right 8 r squared minus r squared is 7 r squared 648 minus 3844 is minus 3196 so therefore 7 r squared plus 144 r minus 3196 equal to 0 this is a quadratic equation we can use the quadratic equation formula by which for any equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 x equal to minus b plus or minus root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a let x be r compare this equation to this will obtain a equal to 7 b equal to 144 and c equal to minus 3196 substitute it here so r equal to minus 144 plus or minus root of 144 squared minus 4 times 7 times minus 3196 all over 2 times 7 144 squared is 20,736 minus 4 times 7 times minus 3196 is 89,488 20,786 plus 89,488 is 110,224 square root of 110,224 is 302 minus 144 can be written as minus 72 times 2 and 332 is 166 times 2 from here 2 is common we factor it out so it is 2 into bracket minus 72 plus or minus 166 this 2 cancels this 2 so r equal to minus 72 plus or minus 166 all over 7 that is r equal to minus 72 plus 166 all over 7 or r equal to minus 72 minus 166 all over 7 Minus 72 plus 166 is 94. Minus 72 minus 166 is minus 238. R is the radius of these cycles. It can't be a negative number. We discard this. Therefore, R equal to 94 over 7. Come here, substitute it. 94 over 7 all squared is 8836 all over 49 2 pi times 8836 all over 49 is 17672 pi all over 49 so area of congruent cycles equal to 17672 pi all over 49 square units thank you for watching please subscribe like share and comment and also turn on notifications Thank you.